All right. Good morning, everyone. Okay. So, um, so first of all, what you need to do is that check your attendance here. I just want your name and your ID, students, into the line group. Okay, right now. One, two, three, go. Yeah. So ACP 302, right? Class number nine. So we are studying for TOEIC preparation test, mock interview, listening comprehension, incomplete sentence, tech completion, and then reading comprehension here. We check two degree, right? Call two, look at ID student. All right, um, so week 10, right? English presentation here, I'm not sure, this one, right? Um, so to, to those of you who, ha who have a name in this screen, right? Uh, could you raise your hand for me, please? Um, yeah, one, two, th uh, three, two, two, three, three, seven, three, four, five, okay. Three, four, nine, three, five, two, and three, eight, four. That's it. Okay. And I'm going to check that your friends are going to listen. <laughs> your friend presentation here. Okay. If you're ready to listen for your friend, you type one for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, I just want to let you uh, present for this kind of topic, right? Quality control or even a customer feedback here. I'm going to stop my sharing my screen here and you can um, show up or just show your screen here. One, two, three, go. Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. We are group five, and today we are going to present you about the, to the TOEIC test. Our topic is quality control and customer service. So the test consists of fill up the blank part and the reading part. So let's start with the first one. Um, from question one to question three, we will give you like 30 seconds per question to answer. Let's start. Number one, fill in the blank. Um, Everyone was disappointed to hear that the company's proposal was blank. If you know the answer, please type in the chat box. Thirty second. The answer is the dog. Because uh, the turn down is the correct two word verb showing rejection. Next. Number two. 
uh, how blank that the software developer shot per house Uh, who know the answer, please type in the chat box. We have 30 seconds. And the answer is A. Much, how much? Because the software developer shot is an uncountable now. Next, number three. I like to ship this packet the blank way possible. If you know the answer, please type the answer in the chat box. We have 30 seconds. Okay, most of you answer D. And yes, D dot is the answer, is the right answer because there is an article that before the blank. So the answer has to be like superlative form and quickest is the correct superlative form. And next part to P will handle from this. Thank you, Ping. <clears throat> um, so we are going to do a reading part and the question uh, number four to number five refer to the following advertisement and I will give you a one minute to read and understand the advertisement. Start. Uh, sorry for interrupt. So uh, I will send you a, a PDF file in the right group that you can read the whole page that is read. Thank you. Okay, time's up everyone. We will going to do a question number four for now, from, from now on. Uh, for the question number four is, what is suggested about the core? Everyone who know the answer, please type in the chat box. Okay, I saw the A. So uh, the answer from for this question is A. Great job, uh, who answer? Gondanok, great job. Uh, for the reason why the answer is A because uh, the below here is the brakes and tires replaced six months ago and struts replaced two weeks ago. Next, we will do uh, 
question number five. So the question number five, according to the advertisement, why is Mr. Gorbani selling her car? Uh, everyone who know the answer, please type in the chat box. Thank you. Okay, thumbs up. The correct answer for this question is uh, the dog. Yes, because uh, if you can see um, from the text, it say that owner going overseas at the end of this month and must sell the car. And next question, I will handle it to Kao. You mean Joe, right? Oh, sorry, I mean Joe. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Tupi. Uh, question six to nine refer to the following email. We'll give your two minutes to read and understand the passage. Okay, time is up. Question number six. Uh, what are Sparkle Paint customer advice to do? If you all know the answer, please type in chat. Um, the answer is D. Order sample of similar several similar colors because from the passage it said that could you send me the collect pen along with additional samples that are clothed in color to sp722 question number seven what is what is more likely true about order 3397 if you all know the answer please 
type in chat. The answer is A. It arrived within two business days because from the passage, it said that within two business days for an additional expedite shipping fee. Carl will handle the next question. Thank you, Jules. For the question number eight is, which color does Mr. Pan indicate that he likes? For the ones who know the answer, please type in the chat box and I give you 30 seconds to do it. Okay, thumbs up. The correct answer is C, Stormy Boo, because in the face it say that, could you send me the correct pin along with additional sample that are closed in collect to SP722? For the question number nine, what problem does Mr. Pan mention in his email? I give you 30 seconds the same as last question. Okay, thumbs up. The correct answer is A. He received the wrong item because in the face it is say that I have selected color SP944 but received SP945 Ocean Web and the next part done and bank will handle it. Uh, so uh, move on to the next process is uh, question 20 to 13 refer to the following email. If it said it's quite long, so I give you guys uh, about three minutes to read and understand it. You can read uh, the whole passage in uh, one page in the PDF file that we sent it in the, the right group. Thank you. Let's start.
Okay, everyone. Time up for the question 10 is which company were asked to file? Who, who know the answer? Uh, you can type in the chat box. So I, I got uh, answer C from Miss Tulanat. Who, who want to answer more? And uh, and number ten uh, for the answer is. Should I say it's a jetty construction because uh. They men mentioned in the article. And number event is how many people are a John Timber crew? For the one who would know the answer, feel free to type it in the chat box. Okay, time up. Uh, thank you, Gunnar, for answering. Uh, the correct answer is A. Uh, John Tibet really needed for, but, uh, the, but they sent an extra pair. So I, I will send the next question to Ben. Thank you, Gun. The next question is what is spray used for? The person who know the answer, please type, please type chat in the box. And time up. The answer is B. To take the soul from it because in the article it says this way is always common to buy it who work on the heat road. Heat, heat is for. Next is question 13. What should John Timber do if he remain unsatisfied? Is time up. The answer is the request the refund. From the article, however, you should use the space and find that you are still unsatisfied with the boot. Please return the boot and pay for a full refund. So we done the presentation. Thank you for listening and answering. And everyone, do you have any questions for us before we go? If not, uh, thank you again. All right, good.
Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for a uh, good presentation. Um, um, so could you please send me the PDF file? You just sent PDF file already, right? So this yes. would be like a, a slide presentation too. Is that right? Okay. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. You, you can send slide presentation to me too. Just because um, to make sure that I love you done for the presentation here. That's it. Nice to hear from you all. Great and appreciate with your presentation. And um, everyone type perfect for your friend, please. And uh, imperfect. No. no. Okay, so um, six students are waiting for the interview, right? So now I'm going to, uh, let's say, wait a second. All right, so all of you have to stand by for um, English interview here. Uh, let me check first, so. Um, so for this week, um, you are asked to review for week nine and 10, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, ready, right? Okay, good. Um, so I, I'm, uh, I'm going to choose the first one first. I think. I think I'm going to choose three, eight, four. Joe, are you there? Yeah. Yes, I am. All right. So uh, this is the interview, right? English mock interview here. I'm going to choose just only for this slide, right? One, two, three, and four, or uh, four and five. So just choose two out of uh, five here and add your personal information here. Are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so could you please tell uh, a little bit more about you? Um, my name is Sansipong Wonganha uh, from LCI, Sinakarin Bureau University. Um, and I love to listen to music, rap music. And I practice a lot, a lot of my accent, um, AAVE accent. Which, me, which mean uh, uh, African American in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, right? All right. So, which quick which number would you like to choose here? Two and four. Two and four. All right. So, I'm going to start with the first question first. What is your passionate job? How and why? Mm -hmm. Uh, my passionate job is rapper because, you know, uh, first of all, I fascinated in African-American, more of them are rapper, and nowadays people love to listen to music. Whatever mood they are, maybe they say happy, tired, they still listen to music. Rap is one of music type. Lab can rap can deliver everything. For example, you can rap for inspired people, government, girl, money, gangbang, or and more. Uh, mm -hmm. I really fascinate in inspired style rap because some song it inspire me not to mm. give up easily, try hard as I can. So it made me want to inspire people by my rap too, although my voice is not that good. Mm -hmm. Good, nice to hear from you here. All right, next question is that question number five. Is that right or four? Uh, number five. Four number four. five. Four or five? Number five. four. Oh, yeah. Number four, good. Four. Um, yeah. So what are your strengths here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think commitment is my strength, but... Mm. My commitment must come along with fun and fascination. Uh, as you know, I'm the one who love in gaming and game that I play is Wildland. It's mm. shooting game. To be good at this game, you must have good hand-eye coordination and good muscle memory. So 
I practiced on hand-eye coordination and muscle memory about two to three hours a day because I want to better in this game and higher rank. Uh, if I commit to do something, I might make it and do not give up on any obstacle. All right. Done, right? Finish. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, thank you so much for your uh, sharing the information here. So he said that commitment to to do something is a key, right? Okay, good. Yes. Sir. Done. Um, yeah. Can you type done in the chat box, please? Okay, good. <clears throat> Next one, I'm going to choose. Um. Uh, let's say, ping three five two. Are you there? Hi. All right, good. Okay, so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about you? Mm -hmm. Um, hi, my name is Noah Pon Mochim, or you can call me Bing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm the student from third year from LCI. Uh, see, Nakarin University, and I love watch to watch movie and love to listening to music and also reading. Yeah, that All is right. my hobby. Good. Um, so which question would you like to share her? I think um, one and four. One and yeah. four. Good. I'm going to start with the first question here. How do you see yourself as a successful person in the future? Mm -hmm. um, the successful version of me I think uh, I would do like the right job and um, like using my life in the happy way like happy about work happy about hobby and have time to relax myself from work and absolutely well uh, we don't have to worry about the money. Yeah. Mm, so meaning that yeah. um, you are expect to get stress free from whatever you want in your life. Is that right? Good. Okay. Yes. Good. And then next question for you is that um, number four. Is that right? Okay. So what are your strengths here? Mm -hmm. My strength, I think I am the reasonable person and a type of calm down person because if I got into a fight with someone I will like a half time to relax myself first before talking to they like before talking to them yeah like and we I will like using the reason to to handle everything yeah mm -hmm. So meaning that you take priority for reasonable person is a key here, right? Everyone has their own yes. reasons to do so. That's it. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Done. Come on up and you. done, done. <laughs> Just type done once you're done for the interview, right? Okay, good. Next one, I'm going to choose 2P349. Are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, could you please tell a little bit more about you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, hello, my name is Tirawas Nenshampu, or you can call me 2P. Uh, I came from Phuket, the southern of Thailand. Now I'm studying at uh, Sinekarin Rudo University in Georgia on a business track. And I also learning uh, German language at a third language. Uh, and I hope that I can apply the knowledge to the future life. Mm -hmm. Good. So which question would you like to share here? Um, I will choose uh, one and four as well. One and four. Okay, so my first question to you is that how do you see yourself as a successful person in the future? Mm -hmm. Um, let's not gonna say the way I would build myself as a successful person um, would be to have a lot of money and enjoy my career because of um, uh, my highest dream is to have a money and spend without the worry. Like if I want to buy anything, I buy it. Or even I want to go anywhere, I just go without the spread about money. And as I mentioned above, um, even to be happy with money, the work is also a method for, 
or the important because um, if we are happy with work, then we will be able to do it fully and have the productive and it will be also get more money. Yes. Mm-hmm. So happy, happiness is a key here, is that right? Okay, good. <laughs> Next question to you is that um, what are your strengths, actually? Mm-hmm. Um, my strength is a highly communication skill. So I can communicate with the people, uh, all, all ages and genders, whether it's um, like for the social contract, a work or even the just by the connection. And I feel like I can do well every time i talk to someone and i can say that many people around me always um, tell me i'm that the easy person to talk with and have fun uh, when they talking they talking with me so um, that's why i choose this uh, to my strength mm-hmm. yeah thanks thank you so much for sharing here good done 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 and then what i have All right, moving to next one. We are waiting for three students here. Yeah, next one, next one. I'm going to choose three, four, five, go. Are you there? Uh, yes. All right, so uh, tell me a little bit more about you, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Sashot Bapna, and my name is Khao. I'm from Thailand, and I'm now study LCI in Seoul University. I like to do some comics and listen to all kind of music. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's all. That's all, right? Okay, which question would you like to choose here? Uh, maybe one and four. One and four. Mm-hmm. Good. So how do you see yourself as a successful person in the future? Well, now I'm, I'm doing a... Uh, streaming in the Twitch platform in the future. I, maybe I got a uh, verify and I not ha- don't like to work in the office. So maybe mm-hmm. in the future I got a verify on the Twitch platform and I got a one k viewer at least to not to do the work in the office. And mm-hmm. and I am a gamer guy, so I'm I will be very happy if I can. Do it with my in this in my in the future that I imagine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. So you maybe you want to start something new, which is different from you know going to or working as an office worker here. Right. Good. And next one would um next question is that um what are your strengths actually? Mm-hmm. So I think my my strength is uh I'm a patient guy because. Uh, it's uh, the, like a job. I'm a gamer guy that playing a Warland game, right? Mm-hmm. So in in this game, there are some kind of teammate that are miscommunication and some some guy that not listen to anyone. So if uh, I want to talk to them or tell them to do something, I have to talk with them, talk to them with my patient because sometimes there's gonna like. Uh, angry or speak something curse to me yeah mm-hmm. so i so i have to speak with them with, speak to them with my patient if i speak them with my anger so maybe they're gonna that throw the game and quit the game out so it's gonna affect my rank elo mm-hmm. yeah so you mean the, like a case here would be like keep calm and be patient That's it, yes. right? All right. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Uh huh. Done. Come on, I have done, done, done. Next one. I'm going to choose. <laughs> I am going to choose. Bank three three seven. Are you there? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, tell us a little bit more about you. Ah uh, yes. Uh, my name is Taiwan Kitgel. I'm from Thailand. I'm studying in LCI University, LCI, Senior University. I like to uh, listen to all kind of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, um, which questions would you like to share? Sir? Um, I should number two and four. 
through um two and four, right? Okay, good. What is your passionate job? Uh huh. Why? I think my passionate job is data analysis because the data analysis is also new career part with an immense opportunity for me to grow, learn, and make my living easier than putting myself to be competitive with the expert of or of the old career part. Mm -hmm. Yes. So data analysis, right? Okay, good. And the next question is that what are your strengths, actually? Mm -hmm. I think my strength is uh, I have an analytical thinking. I think I can solve problems that may not have obvious solution or that have several variables. Uh, and I have a person to do a hard job in straight atmosphere too. Yes. So you are good at analytical thinking. You think critically, things like that. Is that right? Okay, good. Done. Come uh, on, Thank you so much for your sharing here. And the last one for today is that gun three, two, two. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so um, could you please um, telling a little bit more about your place? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hello, my name is Kalwishna Kankidwatana, or you can call me Kan for short. Uh, I'm currently studying in Ranked for Career with a uh, business track, and also study Japanese at my third language in the Faculty of Humanity at Sinakuribiro University. And for uh, in my free time, I like to hang out with friends, listening to music and playing game. All right, good. Okay, so um, which questions would you like to choose here? Uh, I, I go with question two and four. Two and four, right? I'm going to start with the first question. First, what is your passionate job here? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, my passionate job is to work in the gaming industry, such as a uh, a uh, game developer or a uh, video game live streamer. Since I am uh, certain that I have, I can achieve this job with my passion and love for the game. So uh, happiness and passion is the key of my passionate job. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So next question to you is that um, what are your strengths actually? Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. But about my strength is uh my strength are passion and ambition. Because I will always be motivated to achieve in whatever I want to overcome them. And I believe that when I set out to do anything, whatever and anything, I, I will keep my best to do that. Mm -hmm. So meaning that you have to try your best to do whatever you want to do. Is that right? Good. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Done. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for the interview days, right? Week nine. Uh -huh. Week nine and a group presentation here. I really um, appreciate with all of you guys uh -huh, speaking and practicing with this kind of interview here. All right. Um, so shall we move to the next activity here? Mm -hmm. All right. So today um, I'm going to let you listen for full listening test. Is that okay? Just because I think that you can practice for the long session. Keep listening is a key. What I want to suggest um, to all you guys here is that um, just focus on part three, conversations, and part four, talk, just because it's all about like comprehensive listening, right? If you can do well on that, I'm really sure that you can do the test very well. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, shall we start listening together here? One, two, three, go. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. 
The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He's hanging up a shirt. B. He's sweeping a floor. C. He's fixing a light. D. He's holding some clothes. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's putting paper in a copy machine. B. She's wiping the outside of a file cabinet. C. She's stapling some documents together. D. She's closing the door to an office. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The woman is sawing some wood. B. The woman is lifting a box. C. The man is using a hammer. D. The man is organizing a toolbox. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A man is standing in front of a group. B. A man is reaching into a bag. C. Some people are entering a building. D. Some people are getting onto a bus. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. She's setting a glass bottle on a shelf. B. She's pressing a button on a device. C. She's removing her safety gloves. D. She's taking a lab coat off of a hook. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A banner is suspended from a window. B. An umbrella has been opened to provide shade. C. Some potted plants have been placed in a courtyard. D. Some leaves have fallen on a walkway. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. When does the shop close? A. Yes, at the workshop. B. No, they're new clothes. C. At nine o'clock tonight. Number eight. Who's scheduled to clean the kitchen? A. By the sink. B. Yes, every day. C. 
Jack is. Number nine. How will we get to the hotel from the airport? A. We'll take a taxi. B. About 45 minutes. C. Will that be everything? Number 10. Is Teresa out of the office today? A. Those tickets are sold out. B. No, she's just gone to lunch. C. I completed that yesterday. Number 11. Which food supplier do you use? A. In the vegetable aisle. B. On a weekly basis. C. We use E and G Food Company. Number 12. Could you help me set up this window display? A. A window seat. B. Yes, I was in a play. C. I'd be happy to. Number 13. Why is this package here? A. Three dollars and fifty cents. B. I'll carry it upstairs. C. An online retailer. Number 14. Which menu item do you recommend? A. I'd suggest the pasta. B. Do you have this shirt in blue? C. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Number 15. Do you know who requested technical support? A. Sorry, I just got into the office. B. The sports team is doing well. C. Two years of technical school. Number 16. Where does Takumi keep the ink cartridges for the printer? A. Yes, that'd be great. B. To get it replaced. C. In the supply room. Number 17. Ali is going to Jessica's retirement party, isn't he? A. I don't think they worked together. B. Brand new tires. C. No thanks. I already ate. Number 18. Why don't you go to the trade show with Franklin and Jane? A. No, I didn't see it. B. Because I have a major report to finalize that week. C. Usually in San Francisco. Number 19. When are we ordering more gloves for the laboratory? A. The latest test results. B. It's close to the post office. C. We've got extras in the cabinet. Number 20. Doesn't this movie theater seat 500 people? A. Tickets are $15. B. Not quite that many, no. C. We should be finished soon. Number 21. Would you like to make an appointment with a nutritionist? A. A client luncheon. B. I'm scheduled for the 14th. C. The fruit is on the table. Number 22. Did you know that the Vienna Orchestra is giving a concert here soon? A. No. Where will it be? B. Classical literature. C. The opening piece was great. Number 23. What's the marketing department working on? A. I'm on the accounting team. B. That was a good commercial. C. 
to the second floor. Number 24. Isn't it hot in here? A. A hat and scarf. B. For a quick phone call. C. The air conditioner's behind me. Number 25. Do you want to drive to the convention center or would you like me to? A. That's all we needed. B. The first entrance on the left. C. I can drive since you did last time. Number 26. Could you pick up some more paper for the printer? A. Alan said that he would. B. No, I haven't seen it. C. A technician. Number 27. I'm about to order lunch now if you're hungry. A. Next to the telephone. B. Bus number five. C. Can I see the menu? Number 28. Where's the camera on this computer? A. No, I don't think so. B. Email it by tomorrow, please. C. On the top edge of the monitor. Number 29. The conference is in Helsinki this year, isn't it? A. Here's the itinerary. B. About 5,000 participants. C. I was supposed to call him. Number 30. Should I schedule the inspection for Monday or Wednesday? A. Yes, I'll have a few. B. Mondays are less busy. C. Please inspect these boxes. Number 31. Let's talk about how the business trip went. A. We have a client meeting right now. B. The travel agency. C. I saw it last week. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. I just got a call from Mr. Benson, the owner at 488 Oak Street, where we're doing that big interior renovation. He was a little upset. He says the wrong color countertop has been installed in his kitchen. That's strange. I placed the order for that countertop myself. It was white marble, if I remember correctly. I'd better order a replacement immediately. Okay. I'll call Mr. Benson back and let him know we're ordering him a new one right away. Number 32. Who is Mr. Benson? Number 33. Why did Mr. Benson call? Number 34. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Lucia. I think we're almost ready for the cooking class tomorrow. We have a lot of people signed up, even though it's the first one we've held here at the store. I know. I really hope this will help boost our sales. The chef teaching the class will be using a lot of the equipment we sell here in the store, so hopefully the students will buy it to use at home. Yes, you're right. Oh, that reminds me. 
We got a shipment of new cookware this morning. I'll go put everything on the shelves now. Number 35. What is taking place tomorrow? Number 36. What does the woman hope will happen? Number 37. What does the man say he will do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Dave, have you had a chance to meet Yan Mei Li, the new head of marketing yet? No, I haven't had time. I was busy with the launch of our new smartphone last week. Have you met her? Yeah, she seems very approachable. Her last job was with a computer manufacturer, so I think she's a really good fit for the company. So, how did the new product launch go? Really well. We started in Europe, and we'll expand to North America. I'm actually going there next week. Number 38. According to the speakers, what happened last week? Number 39. What industry do the speakers work in? Number 40. What will the man do next week? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jin Sang. Oh, I was wondering, have you noticed how cold it's been here in the coffee shop lately? Actually, yes. I wonder if it's because the side door hasn't been closing properly. That door should close automatically. Maybe a hinge is broken or needs to be adjusted. Well, I'm really concerned about the temperature. Our customers don't want to sit in a cold coffee shop. I'll try to get a repair person to come and fix it today. Actually, you don't need to call. I used to work at a hardware store. Number 41. Where do the speakers work? Number 42. Why is the woman concerned? Number 43. What does the man imply when he says, I used to work at a hardware store? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, I saw an advertisement for the Pick Easy camera in today's newspaper, but the price shown on the display here in your store is different than what was listed in the ad. Oh, okay. My manager here can help you. Mr. Jensen? Sure. Sorry about the confusion. That camera just went on sale today, and we haven't changed the price on our display yet. Oh, that's good to hear. I'd like to buy it then. Great. And that camera comes with a two-year warranty, but for another $25, you can extend it to five years. Would you like to do that? Number 44. What product are the speakers discussing? Number 45. What problem does the woman mention? Number 46. What does the manager offer the woman? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Okay, I finished examining your teeth. Everything looks healthy. Do you have any concerns? Yes, actually. It's nothing serious, but sometimes my teeth hurt a little when I brush them. Maybe you're brushing too hard, or you're using the wrong type of toothbrush. 
I have a pamphlet about that. Um, here you go. This has some useful recommendations. Thanks. I'll read it. And by the way, I recently moved, so I need to update my patient file. Okay. Please give your new address to our receptionist on your way out. Number 47. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 48. What does the man give to the woman? Number 49. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Charlie. This is Cora from Thomasville Marketing. We're impressed with your qualifications, and we'd like to offer you the position at our Chicago office. Thank you. That's exciting news. Moving to Chicago would be a big decision for me, though, so I'll need to think about it. Well, we'd really like to fill the position this week. Okay, I understand. If you accept the position, we'd like you to come to Chicago soon to meet the team you'd be working with. And, of course, Thomasville Marketing always pays for business-related air travel and taxi expenses. Number 50. What type of business does the woman work for? Number 51. What does the woman mean when she says, We'd really like to fill the position this week. Number 52. According to the woman, what does the company always pay for? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Kamiko, what are you posting on the notice board? Hi, Amelia. I'm organizing a company team for a charity event next weekend. It's a 10-kilometer run through the city. The money raised will be used for a neighborhood playground. Sounds good. By the way, I usually run with some of our colleagues during lunch. I'll talk to them tomorrow about joining the team. Great. Thanks, Amelia. We need 10 people to make a full team. Hey, there's Martin. He likes running too. Martin, want to join our team? We're participating in a 10-kilometer run for charity. It's next weekend. Next weekend? I wish I could, but I'll be in Washington for a conference then. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 54. What does Amelia offer to do tomorrow? Number 55. Why will the man be in Washington? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. John, a customer is looking for this winter boot in a size 10. Could you find that for me, please? Actually, I'm just finishing my shift now. I'd really appreciate it if you could get this one last thing before you go. Okay, sure. Oh, last time I was in the stockroom, I noticed that we've sold out of a lot of sizes in this style. I'll go look, but it might be a good idea to ask the customer if she'd be interested in a different style. Number 56. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 57. Why does the man decline the woman's request at first? Number 58. What does the man say about an item? Number 
Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Sorensen, it's Tony Reed calling from eEnergy Insight. I appreciate having the opportunity to tell you about our energy management software. Sure. As the manager of a large bank, I know that our energy bills are quite substantial. We're always looking for ways to cut energy costs. Well, our software automatically controls the lighting, heating, and cooling of multiple rooms, as well as the energy needed for operating machines. It redirects the energy where it's needed so that there's no waste. Interesting. Would it be possible for you to give us a demonstration of how it all works? Number 59. Why is the man calling? Number 60. What does the woman say she is interested in? Number 61. What does the woman request? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Thanks for calling the Forrester Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm arranging the annual awards banquet for my company. I checked your website. Can I reserve the Rose Hall for May 15th? Let me check the schedule. I'm afraid the Rose Hall's unavailable that day. The Sunflower Hall is available. It's $50 more expensive than the Rose Hall, but it's larger. Hmm, that's okay. The Sunflower Hall should be fine. I also had a question about food for the dinner. Can you recommend a good caterer? Oh, I'd recommend Sammy's Catering. It's popular because of the variety of vegetarian options they offer. Number 62. What event is the man calling about? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the man's reservation cost? Number 64. According to the woman, why is a catering business popular? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and bar graph. Michelle, thanks for agreeing to lead this afternoon's meeting with me. One topic I think we should discuss with the staff is factory productivity. We haven't met our quotas for light bulbs for a few months. I know. Productivity hasn't been stable recently. We had a month of strong production, but the next month was the lowest we've had in a year. Right. So at today's meeting, let's focus on the month when productivity was very low. I know that our bulb manufacturing machines broke down several times that month. We should probably have all of them inspected. I agree. What else should we discuss at the staff meeting? Number 65. What will the speakers do this afternoon? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which month do the speakers agree to discuss? Number 67. What does the woman suggest doing? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Hi, Corey. I wanted to talk to you about the way we currently conduct hiring for the firm. I was thinking that we could reduce our workload in the human resources department by reducing the number of steps in the hiring process. Well, we have to be sure we hire the right people. We can't eliminate the phone call. That's the best way to decide who we should bring in for interviews but we could stop doing a group interview. I agree. 
Honestly, those haven't provided much information about job candidates in the past. Good point. Okay. Let's work on a presentation to show Mr. Kobayashi our idea. All right. Number 68. According to the woman, what is the benefit of changing a process? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which step do the speakers agree should be removed? Number 70. What will the speakers do next? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. In local news, residents have long awaited the grand opening of the River City Zoo this Saturday. For this special grand opening event, hours will be extended until 8 p.m. And the zoo will also be having a photo contest during the event. Be sure to take photos while you walk through the exhibits to submit for the contest. To read the contest rules and regulations, visit the zoo's website. Number 71. What event is the speaker mainly talking about? Number 72. What are the listeners encouraged to do during the event? Number 73. What can the listeners find on a website? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Attention passengers flying to Dublin. Since this flight is fully booked and luggage space will be limited, you may check extra bags for free. If you'd like to check your luggage to your final destination at no extra charge, you can speak to an airline representative at the gate desk. We'll begin boarding soon, so please check your ticket for your seat assignment. Thank you for flying with us. Number 74. Where most likely does this announcement take place? Number 75. According to the speaker, what can the listeners do for free? Number 76. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Glad to see everyone's back on the bus. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour of Rosedale so far. City Hall is one of my favorite stops. You may not have heard me say it, but our city hall is notable as the biggest government building in the nation. In a few minutes, we'll arrive at Carpton Market. It has some of the city's best local food. You'll have time to explore the market on your own, but the bus leaves at 3 p.m. I'll be walking around too, so join me if you'd like to hear more about the market. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. According to the speaker, what is special about Rosedale City Hall? Number 79. 
Why does the speaker say the bus leaves at 3 p.m.? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Recently, we conducted a market survey about our new phone application called Mini Market. Well, we found that people of all ages like the idea of using their mobile phones to order groceries. However, there has been one consistent complaint about the app. According to users, the process for ordering groceries with this app is too complicated. So we invited Lupe Gonzalez here to present some ideas. She's a technology consultant who has designed similar apps before. Number 80. What is the purpose of the meeting? Number 81. What is the main complaint about a phone application? Number 82. What will happen next? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Before you start this evening's shift, I'd like to make a quick announcement. As you know, we've had a very successful two months since our restaurant opened. But of course, that means you've all been working some very long days and serving many customers at once. Now, we'd originally planned to have only six waiters on our staff, but our business is increasing We'll be working to remedy the situation. In the meantime, to thank you for your hard work, we've arranged to get you all some complimentary tickets to the upcoming music festival. Enjoy the event. Number 83. Where do the listeners work? Number 84. What does the speaker imply when she says, Our business is increasing. Number 85. What does the speaker offer the listeners? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As you all know, when sales at Henry's Home Furnishings dropped again last year, the executive board decided it was time to reevaluate our brand. Our research revealed that we were missing out on a large market, young adults, who saw our products, especially our living room furniture, as out of date and unimaginative. So we're now launching an updated product line based on the latest trends called Urban Henry. Some of the furniture will even feature wireless charging for mobile devices. Now, before the official launch in May, I'd like you, our public relations team, to prepare a press release to send to the usual business news outlets. Number 86. What does the speaker's company mainly sell? Number 87. How has the company addressed a problem? Number 88. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Tom Pollard from Human Resources calling for Wilma. We are so happy you'll be joining our team at Morristown Engineering. Could you come in next Monday morning for your orientation? After, you'll be able to meet some co-workers and have a tour of the facility. Just to warn you, getting to our office is a little tricky right now. The street we're on is closed to traffic because of construction. I recommend parking a couple of blocks away and walking. Also, I'd like to invite you to join me for lunch the day you come. That way you can ask any questions you might have. Anyway, give me a call back to confirm. 
Number 89. What is the main purpose of the message? Number 90. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 91. What does the speaker say the listener can do during lunch? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to compliment you all for your excellent work on the Peterson ad campaign. Their company has already seen a jump in sales from the advertisements we created. Next on the agenda, I want to let you know about a great professional development opportunity. We've decided to start offering reimbursement, covering tuition and other fees, for all employees who take classes at the local business school. And there are lots of great options to choose from. There's an interesting evening course called Creative Advertising, and it has earned many awards. If you have any questions, let me know. Number 92. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 93. What will the company do? Number 94. Why does the speaker say it has earned many awards? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hello, I'm calling because I can't find my sunglasses. I think I may have left them in one of your theatres yesterday. The sunglasses should be in a blue case. The case could have fallen under the seat. Anyway, I was at the 4.30 showing of Long Distance Run and was sitting toward the back of the theatre with some friends. If the sunglasses are there, could you call me back to let me know? You can call me at any time. My number's 555-0129. Thanks. Number 95. Why is the speaker calling? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which theater was the speaker in yesterday? Number 97. What does the speaker request? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following instructions and map. Good morning. We're happy you've joined our team at BG Gardening Service. I'd like to tell you about some of the landscaping you'll be responsible for. Our gardening company maintains the outdoor areas at the Delville Shopping Complex, and you'll be doing your first job over there today. Look at this map of the shopping complex. In the lower left, where Elm Road and Main Street meet, there's a small building. You'll be responsible for the gardens around that building. I'll explain more at the site. Let's head over there now so I can show you in person. Number 98. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which building does the speaker talk about? Number 100. What will the listeners most likely do next? Mm 
All right, shall we break for 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see the answer key if you wish to see that, right? Okay, shall we break for 10 minutes? So I'm going to see you again at um, 10 and 45. See you all, 10 and 45 pair.
All right. Um, so ready to study, right? Okay, so we can start from part five here, incomplete sentence. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, for the first question here, so everyone can see from this slide, um, question number one here. Okay, good. Um, so if you blah, blah, blah membership within the next five days, we can offer you an, uh, the introductory price of uh, only $125 per month. So here it's all about like membership, right? So we need to understand if you, we need, we, uh, let's say like it requires a verb here, right? Plus now membership within the next five days. What we need to understand is that um, we have to, um, you know, find out the, the correct verb here, right? Intent, intent to do something. For example, like intent to study English here, expand. Expand, meaning that you kind of broaden something to be better, expand area for, um, you know, meeting, let's say. Inspect, inspect mean reconsider or look up, um, you know, look for, is that right? And this one extend, extend should be uh, extend uh -huh, membership here. So the answer we go for D dot here. Everyone type D, 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 D property. Uh, D, my crop, no cap. Mm. Uh, quickly is a key. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to be a volunteer, blah, 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 in our upcoming news, upcoming news special cooking for your health. Thank you for agreeing to be a volunteer. So when it comes to considering from this kind of, um, you know, part of speech, right? Volunteer plus now, right? So we need to identify which the now would be appropriate for this blank. Particular is that um, it doesn't fit for this blank just because um, it is adjective here. Particle, particle is not that now that refer to people or agent here, is that right? Participant, I think it could be fit for this blank. Everyone type, C, I see, I'm gonna have C, C. Ah. Volunteer participant in our upcoming news would be the correct answer here. And the last would be a pedestrian here. It's all about like uh, people who walk, um, you know, around the street, is that right? Across the street road, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Next, um, reading 30 days of purchase termination of the service permitted. The full purchase price will be refunded minus the $50 blah, blah, blah fee. Inducement fee, is that okay? Revival fee, incitation fee, and then activation fee. So when it comes to talk about the vocabulary and we have to put it in the right context here, right? Um, you have to translate the, the sentence first. The, um, the full purchase price will be refunded minus uh -huh, reduce something here. The $50 um, inducement fee or revival fee, incitation fee, or even activation fee. So I think that you have to put something here, which is, um, you know, uh -huh. related to this kind of like payment, right? Fee. Inducements doesn't fit for this fee, I guess. Yeah, revirals would be like um, fighting, right? Uh -huh. Fighting some things, it doesn't fit too. Cross A, cross B, incitation, meaning that um, you have a reference, right? Insight, incitation here, and it doesn't fit for this blank too. So the answer will go for D dot here. Everyone type D. For me, please, and uh, D, D, D. All right, moving to next question here, to obtain. To obtain optimal health, a great many of us exercise regularly and practice healthy eating habits. However, we often ignore the importance of sleep and the blah, blah, blah role it plays in maintaining a healthy lifestyle, right? Um, so, in order to make sure that you can um, do the test quickly, 
and properly just look at the blank here d blah 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 role so we need an adjective here plus noun is that right drastic role is that okay primer role crucial role and then third row. So we have to be familiarized with the word choices here. So I think an important role, necessary role, crucial role, significant role would be this kind of thing, right? So the answer would go for C cat hair. Everyone type C for me, please. Drastic hair would be um, drastic change, would be like that, right? Primer, primer, um, if, let's say primer, um, yeah, week three, and then fair, fair something. So the answer we go for it. C cat here. Mm -hmm. Next, um, the advertisement read that this Saturday of women's clothing is 55, 65% off, blah, 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 15% off. So we can see like a number here changed from 65 to 15, right? So meaning that um, something changed from 65 to 15%. Contrary to substitute with, increase by, and then instead of. Mm -hmm. So when, when we compare between the two, right? Contradictory or contrary to, meaning that you have to uh, compare which one would be rising or reducing here. Uh, but this one is a bit like um, um, something changed from 65 to 15, is that right? Substitute we can use for people. Let's say like I, um, I ask you to substitute for my teaching session, would be like that, right? And then this one increased by, so we have to identify the number here, but it doesn't fit for this blank just because 65 goes to 15 is not increased, is that right? And then instead of would be the answer here. Everyone type D for me, please, just because instead of use for um, products, it's not that a person here. And D, you might have D, crop, you have Rosadai, but Sam can talk, passport, test, got a bingo. Moving to next question, um, this is a significant error, but we cannot risk losing customers losing customer by refusing to blah, blah, blah. The advertised price. Mm -hmm. Put every possible answer into the blank here. Honor, to honor, to press, to account, or even to refer. This is a significant error. So meaning that mistake, right? A big mistake here, but we cannot risk losing customers by refusing to advertised price. So meaning that we have to identify or just refer something, right? For not losing risk, um, losing customer or potential customer here. So you can see what is the possible answer here. Um, I think you can cross A first, just because it doesn't fit here. Press two, cross A, cross B, cross C, and then the answer will go for D down here. Refer, right? Refer advertised price here. Type D for me, please. D, mm -hmm. you have. Mm. Moving to next question here, simplify the last book from um, best selling order. Jane Stapland is now in the, um, bookstores. This book is blah, blah, blah. Reading for anyone involved in today's busy corporate world. Corporate world, um, it means business world, is that right? Existential reading. Existential reading meaning that it has to be like that, okay? Intricate, intricate here, complicated or complexity. Essential reading, required reading, important reading. Insistent meaning that um, resist or try to, you know, yeah, try to fight with someone, okay? So here, reading. Reading, essential reading would be the answer here. Everyone type C for me, please. And what Charles says here, just um, thinking about, um, you know, appropriate uh -huh. adjective with now here. That's it. 
C, 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 and then the project will be blah, 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 during next 12 months uh, with a project um, completion date of next September. Okay, so here we can see like will be plus uh, past participle over three here, right? Okay, so we need just only for past participle or an adjective here. And uh, we can cross uh, which one is not the right answer here. Undertaken would be past participle. Underground, we can cross it. Underlying, cross it. And then understood, past participle. So differentiate between the two, A or D. So here, if you choose um, understood, meaning that you are talking about um, someone understand what you are saying, things like that, is that right? But here, the project is not a person here, so it should be passive form here. The answer will go for A. Everyone type A, undertaken here, yeah. Undertaken, uh, meaning that process or operation, operated, that's it. Two more left here, um, question number nine, all supervisors are receive, I'm sorry, in receipt of official um, vacation request form if you plan to take a vacation, complete your blah, 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 and hand it in to your supervisor assistant, no later than April 15. Mm -hmm. So here we need now, right? Your plus now, your book, your inquiry, your question, things like that. Your requirements, okay? Your need, your demand, or your request. So here we can see like um, this kind of word, possibly mentioned for two types of part of speed. It can be both now or verb here. But here we need now, right? Requirement is okay or not, or need. Is that possible or not? Demand. Is that Q for this blank or even request? So the answer we go for D dot here. Request, okay, just because um, they need, uh, you know, request for something like uh, take a vacation here. Mm -hmm. Type D for me, please. D, D. And the last question for today would be it is management wish that all employees receive the vacation date, day, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, the, with the large number of requests, that is not usually possible. So here we can see like um, now fresh, um, it's not now fresh, now clause actually, meaning that day plus verb here. They descend, they decrease is okay. They deselected, they ignore. Or even they decide, they wish, they hope, they expect. And the last one, they decide, they create something. So meaning and context is a key here. So they decide would be the answer. Everyone type C for me, please. That's it. Okay, so what you need to do is that just review from number one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Uh -huh. Just review which one would be the correct answer. That's it. Moving to next one, oh, so the text completion here is not, um, you know, it's not seen for your final exam, so shall I skip for this one first? But if you want to review for the real uh, test exam or the real topic, you can feel free to reveal it, okay? Yep, review and reveal. <laughs> okay, shall we skip first? All right, so I'm going to teach you a bit for reading comprehension. Um, so first of all, I can say that um, what you need to come up with the best tip and strategy for reading tests is that you have to use skimming and scanning strategy just because um, um, the test tests your ability to quick reading here. So what I want to suggest from you is that you have to see the title first, article and letter here, and then try to read for the first paragraph, second paragraph, skim and scan, right? And then the last paragraph here. And then try to identify um, what is the main idea in each paragraph. What you need to do is that phrase the paragraph first and then look at the first sentence or the last sentence in each paragraph and try to understand, right? I'm going to give you for one minute uh -huh, to read this kind of text. Uh -huh, and I'm going to ask you uh, what is the main idea here? Mm -hmm.
All right, so we can start from the first paragraph first. In a very close vote last night, the Den Vos Town Council passed new smoke alarm legislation affecting most of their town, um, 50,000 homeowners. So just try to, um, you know, see the, uh, the keyword here. So everyone type um, town Cousin. So you can type just only Cousin here. Okay, type the keyword here, Cousin. So it talks about like um, the advertisement um, that is, you know, declared to the town Cousin here, right? That, um, so the key information here is all about like, it talks about, what is that? Alarm, smoke alarm, right? Okay, smoke alarm in town Cousin here. Mm -hmm. And next keyword would be smoke alarm, right? Smoke alarm. So you, can, you have to understand smoke alarm and town Cousin here, okay? And this one would be the keyword for the first paragraph. So now we have to see the um, the questions here. Um, the first question is that who will be most affected by new, by this new ordinance? Ordinance here that um, you know uh, something changed here. Those people who live in an apartment. Is that okay? B boy, the members of the town council, and C cat here, residents who own their own houses, or even D dot here, university student living in dormitories. We can cross the wrong answer first. I think A is not the correct answer, cross it. And D dot here is not the correct answer. So you can um, differentiate between the two, members of town council or resident here. So the keyword here that you type for me is that town council, is that right? So the answer we go for B boy. Everyone type B for me, please. B, B, I'm gonna let, uh. That's it. So done for the first question for reading comprehension. What you need to see is that find the keyword here or even understand the first sentence of um, each paragraph and that's it. And then look at second question here. How much will it cost to replace three smoke detector? So the answer asks you to multiply with three, right? Three something. So you can see like um, if we can glance a bit or skimming and scanning for this kind of text, right? You can see like the, the last paragraph would be the answer for the question number two. The good news is that Dent Will Fire Department has purchased 3,000 approved fire lines. 3,000 approved fire lines, right? These are available free of charge for those who qualify. Meaning that if you want three things, right? What is the answer here? Sorry for that. Again, so look at the second paragraph first. A number of residents have voted their displeasures with this legislation. Several homeowners have indicated that the alarms they just recently installed are not on the approved list at 30 per alarm, sorry, 30 per alarm. So multiply with three, what would be the correct answer? 30 plus, no, it's not plus, multiply, right? Multiply with three. So $90 would be the answer. Everyone type B for me, please. And B, my <laughs> You need to think and calculate it a bit. Just because it's all about like a reading comprehension, we have to understand the text here. All right, moving to next question here. What is not mentioned about the alarms available, right? Available um, from the fire department. So I think this question must be found in the third paragraph or third, um, you know, the last paragraph for the first uh, for the first one, right? The added charges for installation those eligible to receive the alarms, the number of available alarms or even cost of each alarm unit. Uh, which is not, so meaning that you have to understand the whole text first in order to make sure that you can choose the correct answer here. So now we are looking for the correct answer. 
So the good news that the Danville Fire Department has purchased blah 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 approved a launch here, is that right? And then these are available free of charge for those who qualify. Free of charge meaning zero, right? You don't have to pay anything with this kind of thing. Is that right? So you have to translate this one first and then put the right uh, answer here. Again, add chart or not, receive the alarm. This one would be correct. Number of uh, correct, is that right? Cause of, uh, in each alarm is correct just because 30, right? But at chart, because free of chart is not added. Is that right? So the answer would go for A. Everyone type A for me, please. A, A. Done for three uh, correction here. Now we should understand here first, who is Sandy? And then why does, all right? So four and five talks about the next uh, email. So I just want you to read this one first and then I'm going to check your understanding here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this email, right, this reply email, just because we got, um, let's say, this one, uh, sorry. Um, so we can see like this one would be like memorandum or notice, right? And then this email, just because they have uh, a question or inquiry to ask uh, about this kind of thing, right? I'm writing to express my concern regarding recent legislation passed by our town council. Our town is not large, and of 50,000 homeowners, at least 60% of them are on fixed incomes. Is okay? So this is the introduction of why they, um, why she or he writing for this email. It's okay? Many rely on a social security um, check that must be stretched to meet all of these basic needs. Now another expense has been added. So meaning that they have to pay, is that right? At our um, own town council approved smoke detectors. This one would be they have to pay. I'm not arguing against the need of these devices. What I'm questioning is that a constant reasoning behind of approved list. So he, um, she has some question here, right? So meaning that she uh, tried to reply something just because uh, she really need for clarification or even um, something, some detail here. And then it appears that fear, if any, residents were asked for their input. Why do I think this? Well, three of my neighbors have replaced their alarms in the past six months. Just replaced it already. They all purchased the same brand at our local hardware store. So they bought it by themselves, is that right? And then this brand is not being approved by the constant although, although, here is a contradict, right? It's not approved, although it does have state approval, meaning that it's okay, is that right? 
I would like to urge the councillor to rethink that decision before requiring homeowners to go to the expense of replacing perfectly good equipment here, meaning that she or he doesn't want to pay for it just because it's not. It is necessary, but it has already done for this kind of thing already. Sandy here. Okay, Mac and Ty. All right, so take a look for question number four here. Who is Sandy? The town five chef, high school principal. You can cross it here just because it doesn't fit for this uh, uh, text, right? Concerned local citizen. So she has a question. She has concerns, all right? Or even town council member. So she is the one who um, living in that town, is that right? So that's why she asks this kind of thing. But here you can see like who is Sandy McIntyre. So once you, um, you know, eliminate choices, so we can cross A and B first because it doesn't fit for this kind of tape. And you can differentiate between the two, a concerned local citizen or a town council member. So here we can see like, um, so actually if you, 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 you see the text, you can see like lots of things that is a problematic or even concern. But here it talks about a member in that town, is that right? So the answer we go for D dot here. It's a little bit tricky here. Everyone type D for me, please. D D D. bingo. That's it. Mm. Moving to next question here. Um, why does Mr. Sandy believe that believes that people original lines are satisfactory? So why is Okay, is that right? Satisfactory here is mean, uh, meaning that is it's okay, it's fine. Because they have been approved by the state. Or uh, B-Boy, because they are sold in local hardware stores. Because they were approved by a five chef. And then because resident find the new town expensive. So here we can see like um, the possible answer here, you have to identify a keyword, just highlight for just only keyword. So um, for A, the keyword here approved by state, okay? B boy, the keyword here is so in local hardware. C cat, keyword here approved by five chef. Is that right? Chef, all right. And then D dog here, one expensive. So this one if you be a keyword. So just because it's running out of time, so you have to detect just only for keyword to do the test. All right, so now we are looking for the right answer here. So you can see like um, they all purchase the same brand. Is that right? At our local hardware store, this brand is not being approved by the council, although it does have a state approval. So it's already approved by the state, is that right? So the answer will go for approved by the state. Everyone type A for me, please. Incorrect, come on, I have A la That's it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not that easy, but it's not that hard. So what you need to do is that um, just review, right? Reread again and again, and you can find the correct answer here. So it's all about reading comprehension for your final exam. Try to review, right? If you have any question, feel free to ask, feel free to share your idea here. That's it. All right, that's enough for tip and trick and reading strategy here. All right, shall we move to uh -huh, vocabulary here? All right, so now on um, this tutorial, allocation on professional logistic and light enlightenment, nomination, obliterated, supportive, gathering and dismissal here. Responsible for your number and try to put at least two synonym here. One, two, three, go.
So everybody can participate in this activity just because I think it is the last session for today class already. So we can finish class early if you do active participation here. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody feel free to write here. Okay, good. Let me check first. Twenty four student done for nine point one here. Okay, I think it's enough for all of you here. Done for nine point one. Moving to next section here, collectively fascinating, dispersion, termination, compelling, boostering, sequencing, scrutinized, allegation, and then naturally. All right, just responsible for your number and then type synonym here. One, two, three, go. Um, so for a group, um, you know, a member of um, presentation for this week, um, I ask you to save chat or just like keep this kind of vocabulary here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check, let me see. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay, good. Done for nine point two here. Mm -hmm. Done, 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 right? One, two, three, go. Moving to next section here. Comparatively, objective, solidarity, mm -hmm. sporadically, ratification, utilization, unproductivity, injury, unreasonable, and then transparent here. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check, let me see, right? I hope you guys enjoy with this kind of vocabulary, right? Um, finding synonyms is kind of like an active participation just because it's all about like you have to generate uh, as much as possible for vocabulary expansion here. 
And I do believe that this kind of vocabulary um, is more beyond than a TOEIC test. If you can understand or remember this, uh, it would be great. And you can see how well you can be excellent in English, right? All right, all right, one, two, three. Thirty-two student done for nine point three, right? And then I have two type done for nine point three here. That's it. Moving to the last section for today before we go. So for this one, right? Um, I'm going to say that it's all about like a business context, right? And you have to understand this kind of um, you know, phrase, word, or you know, idiom that comes together, right? Draw your attention to launch a new product, lay off staff, go bankrupt, go into partnership, like Michelle Corporation here, make a loss, make a profit, so it's opposite to each other, right? Market forces, sell figures, and then take on staff, meaning that receiving or recruitment here, all right? Responsible for your number, and try to search um, the meaningful sentence first, and then try to understand and create your own version here. One, two, three, go. Any questions so far? Okay, once you did writing, right, feel free to leave off from the Zoom and see you next week. มีคำถามทำได้นะครับภาษาไทยก็ได้ภาษาอังกฤษก็ดีนะพิมพ์เสร็จแล้วก็ feel free to leave ออกจากซูมได้เลยครับอาจารย์คะครับผมหนูมีคําถามคือเราต้องไปเรียนที่มอไหมคะเทอมนี้คือมันจะเป็นอย่างนี้จะให้อ่าจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยเขามีสองเวอร์ชั่นแต่ว่าเป็นการตัดสินใจของอาจารย์ที่รับผิดชอบวิชานั้นๆนะครับก็คือว่ายังเป็นทรายออนไลน์ครับผมค่ะก็คือเราเลือกถ้าสมมติเราเลือกให้เรียนออนไลน์ก็คือออนไลน์ยาวจนถึงไฟนอลเลยใช่ไหมคะใช่คือปกติแล้วเนี่ยทางคณะเนี่ยให้ทําเป็น2เวอร์ชันก็คือมีออนไซต์กับออนไลน์ใครที่ prefer จะไปไปมอหรือว่าไปเรียนออนไซต์ก็ได้หรือใครที่แบบไม่สะดวกวงโควิด whatever ก็เรียนที่บ้านแต่ว่าคือในมุมอาจารย์อาจารย์มองว่าถ้าเป็น track ออนไลน์ก็ออนไลน์ไปก่อนเพราะว่าเราอยากสมมุติว่าทําอย่างนั้นมันจะเป็นมันจะแบบมันจะต้องเอทิเคได้มันจะต้องแล้วมันจะมี process เยอะเช่นอยู่ต้องตรวจเอทิเคก่อนเท่าคลาสอยู่ต้องโน่นนี่นั่นมันจะมีเยอะแยะมากมายเพราะฉะนั้นก็เลยตัดสินใจทำออนไลน์ไปทั้ง whole session ไปก่อนแล้วก็เดี๋ยวรอเอ่อ semester หน้า begin นะครับก็น่าจะโอเคเลยค่ะครับผมขอบคุณมากค่ะครับผมอ่า feel free to write นะครับแล้วก็ feel free to leave out from the zoom นะใครที่ยังอยู่บ้างเอ่ยอ่าอ
ขอบคุณค่ะอาจารย์ขอบคุณครับอืมมีคนเซฟแชทอยู่ใช่ไหมอืมหนูกำลังเซฟอยู่ค่ะโอเคโอเคโอเคลองดูอยู่ว่ามันได้หรือเปล่าขอบคุณค่ะครับผมโอเคไม่น่ามีแล้วนะครับ I think I love you done for writing here I have to finish a class just only this and hope you guys enjoy for my teaching see you next week bye 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 ครับ